All right, in this question, ABC is a line of greatest slope of a plane. So, let me draw that here. Incline at alpha angle. So, we will draw angle alpha with the horizontal. Okay. Sine alpha is 0 0.28. So, this is alpha and sine alpha equal to 0 0.28. So whenever we need sine alpha, we we'll straight away put the value without finding the angle. Cos alpha is 0 0.96. The point A is at the top of the plane. Okay, here. And uh, the point C is at the bottom. Okay. AC is 5 meters. From C to A is 5 meters. So I'm not writing it for the simplicity sake. The part of the plane above the level of B is smooth. Okay. So this B is somewhere here. And it is smooth here. That means mu is 0. Next. And the part below is rough, okay? A particle P is released from A, all right, this position. And reaches C with a speed of 2 meters per second. 2 meters per second is the speed here. The coefficient of friction between P and the part below B is 0 0.5. So here, mu is 0 0.5. Okay. Find the acceleration of P while moving from A to B. From here till here, what is the acceleration? So, let's find the force in this direction first. Okay. So, what is the, it is released, right, from A. Released. So, release means U, initial velocity, equal to 0. Okay, they are asking us the acceleration from A to B. So, we don't know how much is the distance also. Alright, but we know that the force which is responsible for this will be mg sin theta. Right? Okay, and there is no resistance force because mu is equal to 0. All right, let's use this fact and try to solve it. We know F net, which is MA, is equal to force applied minus resistive force. Force applied in this case is Mg sine, not theta, alpha. Yeah? Minus, there is no resistive force, zero, equal to MA. So, we know that M and M can cancel out here because there is nothing here, so we can cancel them out. G is 10, sine alpha is 0 0.28 and that becomes acceleration and uh, it will be 2.8 meters per second square. Done. From A to B, the acceleration is 0. Point, sorry, 2.8 meters per second square. From B to C. Now, same force, mg sin theta is applied force, mg sin alpha is applied force. This time there will be a frictional force which will be applying on it. Alright, so let's see what is that frictional force. Frictional force is mu r and r will be the force in this direction which is equal to the component of the weight in this direction which is mg cos theta. So this will be mg cos alpha again. So your resistive force becomes mu mg cos alpha because mg cos alpha is r equal to ma. Now they have not given the mass of the object because every time mass is cancelling out. If we divide the whole equation by m, we will be left without m. Alright. Now g is 10. 
sin alpha is 0 0.28, mu is 0 0.5, g again 10, cos alpha was 0 0.96, and that becomes equal to a. So it is 2.8 here, and this will be 5 times 0 0.96 will be minus 4.8. So A becomes minus 2 meters per second squared. That means it is decelerating from B downwards. Okay. The distance AB. They are asking us what is the distance AB. U square plus 2AS is V squared. So it was just released. So U was 0 plus 2 times from A to B. What is the acceleration we got? 2.8 meter per second square. 2.8 S, we don't know. And V square. Okay, so we have two unknown variables here. S and V. We have to find S. That means we should know V first. Alright. We know that at C the speed is 2 meters per second. So we don't know what is the U before it went down. So that U which is at B will become this V for the previous part which is from A to B. Right. So let's focus to find this U with the help of this V. And we don't know the time, we don't know the distance. So let's call this distance as x and we know total distance is 5 meters so it will become 5 minus x. So we will use this very formula. So u we don't know plus 2 we know acceleration in this one was actually deceleration of minus 2 meters per second square in second part s is 5 minus x for us okay and uh, v square is we know 2 meters per second 2 meters per second this one all right so now we will get u in terms of x so u square stays here it becomes minus 4 let's take it to the other side so 2 square is 4 and this minus 4 will become plus 4 times 5 minus x so u square equal to 4 plus 20 minus 4x, which is 24 minus 4x. I'll keep it u square. I will not square root it because here it is a square. This u square here will become v square here. And let's use it here. 0, I will not write. This will be 5.6. S I assumed as x. Can you see? So I will write 5.6x equal to v square which is u square here 24 minus 4x. It will go here it becomes 5.6 plus 4 9.6x equal to 24x equal to uh, 90, yeah, 24 over 9.6 if we divide by 2.4 it will be 4 here and 10 here. So it will 2.5 meters is the distance a b that we assumed as x all right the time taken from p to move from a to c so let's find the time from a to b first this is a this is b and now we know this is 2.5 meters here let's find the time here u is 0 and uh, v was square root of 24 minus 4 times 2.5 now, right? Yes, x is 2.5. So 24 minus 10 square root 14. That is the v. All right. So now v is known to us, s is known to us, u is known to us. Let's find t. So v equal to u plus a t. This will give us time. v we know now, square root 14. u was 0 plus a, it was accelerating at a rate of 2.8 meters per second squared in this, this part, and t. So t becomes square root 14 over 2.8. I will convert this to exact time later when I will 
at the both the times. So let's keep it for the time being. T1 from rather let me write T A to B. Okay. Now I'll find the second one which is B to C. And we'll use the same formula again because we know that V here is 2 meters per second, U is square root 14. And we know the acceleration also. So V equal to U plus ET again. V is 2. U is square root 14. Plus acceleration was deceleration here. Minus 2. And time. So 2 minus square root 14 over minus 2. Equal to time. Which is from B to C. And now I will... Add this time and this time to get total time. They said from A to C. Total time A to C will be square root 14 over 2.8 plus rather minus. Because of this minus, I will write minus. So minus 2 minus square root 14 over positive 2 now because I have transferred negative 2. This one, obviously this time will also be positive. It will give us. Let's use the calculator and find this time, total time. It came out to be 2.2 .2 seconds.